This is Tom and Paula Grays from Light of Christ Radio with a story from the Gospel of Mark. You're welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. Instructions for the small group study can be found below this video in the Show More section. Today, we continue our series on the Gospel of Mark with the story of Jesus walking on water from Mark 6. Well, Paula, to set the context of our story today, we see that after Jesus raised a young girl from the dead, he goes back to his hometown, but there, Jesus is rejected. Right. And after this rejection, Jesus sends his disciples out to minister to various communities two by two. Now, they're excited when they return, but Jesus wants to give them some rest. So they attempt to go to a secluded spot. But that doesn't happen because the people follow them and Jesus has compassion on the people and teaches them all day. And at the end of the day, Jesus tells his disciples to feed the people. Well, they think that's impossible. But then he uses a boy's lunch to feed 5,000 men plus women and children. And this brings us to a story from the Word of God. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida. Well, he sent the people home. After telling everyone goodbye, he went up to the hills to pray by himself. Late that night, the disciples were in the boat in the middle of the lake, and Jesus was alone on land. He saw that they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and the waves. So about three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them walking on the water. He intended to go past them, but when they cried and saw him walking on the water, they cried out in terror, thinking he was a ghost. They were all terrified when they saw him. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage, I am here. Then he climbed into the boat and the wind stopped. They were totally amazed, for they still didn't understand the significance of the miracle of the loaves. Their hearts were too hard to take it in. So after they had crossed the lake, they landed at Gesenaret. They brought the boat to shore, climbed out, and the people recognized Jesus at once. They ran throughout the whole area, carrying sick people on mats to wherever they heard he was. Wherever he went, in villages, cities, or the countryside, they brought the sick to the marketplaces. They begged him to let the sick touch at least the fringe of his robe, and all who touched him were healed. And this is a story from the Word of God. If you're using this video for a small group application, after you've watched this video, try retelling the story from what you heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below in the Show More section. May this story help you on your journey of life. Be blessed.